Hello guys, and welcome back to the sack. Today I got a cool little project. Y'all know I've been working on the the new hotspot that I got, which is just a, um, what's called a jumbo spot, and it's on a Raspberry Pi 0W board. And I've been working a little bit, and I made me a I put me a screen on here. I ordered me one of them Nexton screens. I wired everything up and loaded a uh, TFT file onto the screen. The screen's got a SD card slot you can load your file onto it. If I can get this in a better, that's where there's not so much. If I can turn off my light here. There we go. That might be better. Now here's the screen, what it looks like. As you can see the layout shows my call sign and the MMDVM board is idle and up here it'll show which which mode is active and so forth. And signal strength, RSSI and Burr. If I key it sweet. Love it. I'm currently playing with this layout right now I had a different layout on here but I really didn't like it it was um everything was just white and it just says listening here and here and it didn't really give a whole lot of information this gives a ton of information and it's sweet so far I absolutely love the jumbo spot it is just it's awesome it really is it it works great you know Wi-Fi and all that good stuff and I don't have to have you know all these extra nano routers and all that stuff to be able to to take it mobile that's what I love about it I can just grab it and throw it in the car and bam I'm off <laughs> I'm off to the races anyway I just wanted to show you guys the screen that I added to the jumbo spot there's a few things you'll have to do in the configuration to get the screen to work of course you can you're not going to just plug it up and it's going to work you'll have to load you a, a TFT file that gives you the layout that you see here this layout is not my work so don't credit me for the for the layout it's somebody else's work that they share but I am going to start working on building my own layouts so I downloaded the uh, the Nexton editor and with the Nexton editor you can can build your own layout or you can open a, a previous layout like this one and you can make changes to it which is really cool so yeah <laughs> so but I'll show you guys what the uh, next on editor looks like here's the editor I can get this thing to focus for the love of Jesus there we go all right here's your next on editor what it kind of looks like if you already have a file you can open a file Pick out what you want to open. Open it. And as you can see, there's my... That's what the, my display looks like. And as you change, as you click different, you know, I can click over here and hit uh, D-Star. And it'll show me what it's going to look like when it's in D-Star mode. Or DMR mode, well... One I clicked. There we go. DMR mode, which is what you're currently seeing. All right, and we'll go to the Yazoo System Fusion. What it will look like when you're in that mode, and P25. Pretty sweet. And I had another screen 
here. This is the one that I um, actually started with. I'll um, show you guys what that screen looks like here if I can find it. Okay, it's in TFT, so it might not open it. No, I didn't think it will. I've already compi compiled it. Okay. I'll pause the video for a minute. Okay, guys, I'm going to change it back to the white layout that I was telling you about. You guys tell me which one you like. I personally like this one because of the color and so forth. So to change the layout, all that you need is a... You're going to need an SD card. This is an SD card adapter that I can slide the super small SD cards in and out of. My laptop won't take these micro cards, so I have to use an adapter. Alright, with that being said, I'm going to load up a file onto this SD card. And uh, we're going to change the layout of the screen. So I'm going to pause the video for just a second, and I'll get the uh, file moved over. Okay, I've got the file moved over to my... SD card. I can put my phone in this. And I've got a new phone, it won't fit my Okay, I'm gonna slide the card into the into the screen. Into the card slot here. I might have to pause the video. I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not. Might be a little tough. I might can get lucky and get it in there. Okay, I've got it in. I'm going to reboot the, the screen. Okay, now let's see what it says. It is putting the file that I put on the card on the screen. Now I'm going to pull the card back out. Update successful. And I'm going to reboot the screen. To reboot the screen, I'll simply just take the power off of it. And then just um, plug it back up. I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's a little, it's a little hard. Hold on, let me pause the video for a second. Here we go. All right, this is the original layout that I had when I was started. This this is the first file that I put on the screen. As you can see, it just says MMDVM at the top. And then, I guess here and here it'll say listening and it'll show some information. Right now, I think it's, um, there's the top group, TAC 310. I think the system is, well, I might have the layout changed on the, in the, um, in the pie. Or the um, MMDVM board. Let's take a look at that. And the Pi Star. There we go. She popped up here. Okay, this is what it it looks like. It's telling me right now my my hotspot is idle because there's nobody talking. Talk group three ten. When I push the button, and when somebody starts talking. It'll pop up and tell me what's going on. But like I said, that was just a um, just a white screen to enable your um, OLED display that comes on your system. You would select OLED, of course. Since I'm not using the OLED. reboot the system here see if it changes it to the other way it might it might not I don't know these pies they do take a little it'll take a couple minutes to boot back up here so I'm gonna pause the video till it gets done okay guys this is what I want to show you 
this layout here where it, show, it just says listening on slot one and slot two. I don't know. When somebody talks, if I can get somebody to key up here on 310, it'll, it'll show some little information. But personally, I just didn't. I didn't like this screen. It's just, um, it is very, very nice. It's just sort of plain white, you know, black and white. And I wanted, you know, I like the other one with the color. I'll, um, I'll switch back to it real quick and um, see which one you guys like the best. Like I said, post your comments below and let me know, you know, hey, I like the white one or I like the color one. Let me know which one you like. Magic. It's magic. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the black one. Which gives a whole slew of other information. At the bottom it shows the IP address of my hotspot on my wireless network. The time and the date. What the MMDVM board is doing, which is it's idle. My call sign. My DMR ID. RSSI, the receive signal, burr, signal meter, and the frequency and which mode you're currently operating in. And if you have like DMR, Yezu, D Star, and P25, all of them turned on on your uh, jumbo spot, then whichever one you're operating in will light up, this dot will light up green and, and show you. What mode you're in? Signal strength of the Wi-Fi. And yeah. So that is it. Like I said before, if you watched the other video before I used I had it on this screen. This little little small tiny one. Which it works, it's nice because you know it's it's a little small box. You know, this cover goes on it and then the screen pops right through so is what I might do is basically as uh, what I'm doing is just building my own hotspot with Wi-Fi so I can take we yeah, I'll take the um, this and this screen and maybe set it up in a real nice in a real nice really cool box you know with the antenna coming out of the top and Something like the, um, uh, what is that hotspot? The, uh, Nano Node or Nano Spot or something like that. Which the screen on the Nano Spot is, is a little, I think it's, uh, small. It's bigger than this one, but it's not nowhere near as big as this one. So, yeah. This is a touch screen, which it's not set up for anything to touch. That popped up because somebody just keyed on TAC 310. It shows me the signal. As you can see, it was full scale. And she's back to listening. And you're not just restricted to the white screen or this screen that you see right here. There's all kinds of screens. You can get on the internet, you can download, configure, set it up the way you want it set up. If, you know, you know a little bit about this. It's it's not, you know, it's not easy peasy, so you'll have to know a little bit about this sort of thing and the uh, next time editor, you know. But, that's it guys. Just wanted to give you a, a quick... 10 15 minute video on my jumbo spot and the new screen that I added and all that good stuff. I still have more videos to make, guys. I'm going to do one next on the FTM 400. Yeah, Zoo. Focus 2 meter 440 C4 FM digital radio which I absolutely love and I've already done some on my Motorola I haven't got any new DMR radios 
other than the Motorola and all the other ones I literally haven't even turned on since I got the Motorola so I might just um, I've been thinking I might sell some of them off because I don't need four HTs <laughs> I've got a, a Motorola 7550 I've got a, an MD380 I've got a um, 2017, I've got a CS580, I've got a 9600, this is, I'm starting to get overrun by DMR radios, <laughs> which is a good thing, I'm not complaining, but I still have my Shark, my RF Shark, which is a badass hotspot, it really is, it's a great hotspot, I wish there was a way that I could could put a screen on it now that would be sweet but you know it's not something that's available and, you know it doesn't have Wi-Fi <laughs> but you know for a good for a good you know hot spot for your house the shark is is top of the list I mean it's it's hands down my opinion it's the best hot spot on the market you know and it has more power. That's that's one thing about this, about the jumbo spot. It's only 10 mils. A lot of the other ones are only 10 mils. The Shark RF is 20, so it has double the uh, transmit power as this one. But it doesn't have Wi-Fi and so forth. So, yeah. So I might sell my Shark. I've been thinking about maybe just selling it and Maybe taking the money and, and buying something cool for um, DMR, of course. <laughs> Alright guys, 73's for now. I hope you enjoyed the video on the on the new screen for the Jumbo Spot. Or um, you can put these screens on about anything. The Jumbo Spot, the uh, Zoom Spot, the Zoom Spot and the Jumbo Spot are basically identical. They're both they're both made in Asia, so, I mean, they're pretty much almost identical, other than a few small differences, but other than that, that's it, guys, 73s for now, and look for more videos to come, please, please, please subscribe, I can't stress that enough, I need all the subscribers that I can get right now, I haven't reached a thousand yet, and I'm trying to get to a thousand, so, I really need the subs. If you like what I do and you like the videos and you want to keep seeing them, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. 73 guys, enjoy your weekend, and I hope to hear you on the air. If you guys need help with anything and you know how to contact me, my call sign at yahoo.com, or usually you can catch me on uh, TAC310. 73s, get on the air.